guys, welcome to the Hillside Tiny Home. This took me about like two and a half hours to build and I'm actually really surprised that it only took two and a half hours to build because honestly it came out really nice and I love how it looks. It's probably one of my favourite builds I've built so far on my channel and I just love how like cutesy it is because as we all know I love plants and plants are one of my favourite things to put in The Sims 4. Um, and this whole place is crammed with plants. There are plants left, right and centre. There is a plant every corner of the house you look in and it's kind of ridiculous. Um, this is a one bedroom, one bathroom and I'm pretty, I didn't, I can't remember, it's a 20 by 30 lot and I can't remember how much it was but it's probably going to be a lot and I'm sorry because of that because I did really just spam in a bunch of plants and you know that wasn't you know, the best thing to do because money wise not really good um i also had like debug on for this and um move objects on obviously so if you want to get this off the gallery make sure you put move objects and the debug on um so you can get all of the stuff i used lots of island living in this pack for some reason but like kind of there for it because i never really find somewhere that i can use island living in like not at the salami and i really want to do a salami build so hopefully you guys like that um, so I kind of struggled with the outside because I didn't really know what I was going to do but I knew I wanted to merge it into the hill so it ends up being so so small and, and I added this little skylight like almost from the downstairs of the kitchen upstairs. There is a bathroom and it has a shower, a sink and a toilet. Um, and it does work because I did play test this and there is a kitchen and then there's a little I don't know if you could count it as a living room but honestly I don't really think you would count it as a living room it's literally just a TV um but that's kind of what this build turned out to be I did a little bit of the landscaping at the start but my Xbox was not having any of it and obviously I play on an Xbox so it was just like not today honey so um, there are some at the start, obviously the main building and structure was built and the, some of the landscaping but honestly I do like half the landscaping otherwise. Also I thought in the Sims game update that we would be able to like move the columns up and down but when I put it on a wall it just won't move up and down and I don't know if that's just me being dumb but I'm pretty sure it's meant to move all the way up and it's annoying um, and it was on like my last minimalistic air quotation mark because it was not minimalistic home um i'll put a little icon and you can see what i mean but like it's just annoying and i tried so hard to make it not work like that and i even put these little stone things on top but it doesn't really matter because i ended up deleting it and changing out for the cat scratching pole from um cats and dogs because honestly it kind of wanted i kind of wanted the site seem to be like they look like they had built the home and i thought that would be really cute and adorable because like imagine like absolutely a little adorable see you can see me putting in the little cat things and they do stick up through the roof i just thought maybe that they would build the roof around the cat stick and the cats are sticks so what's holding up i don't know why i keep calling it a cat stick but yeah cat sticks 10 out of 10. Um, I also really wish that one day we get some roof ivy that, we, that is just under like roof objects rather than me having to raise up a bunch of flowers and put them on the roof but I'm really happy with the way that this turned out like I said and honestly we'll be playing with my sims in this home um, and very happy so this you know it, it, was, a, it, it was a process like I say with every build but one of my best builds so far, I think. So far, hopefully you guys agree. Um, but I think so. Because I am, what? Self-absorbed, yes. Um, this is a 12 minute long video, so it's kind of long. But um, we're just going to get over that, get through a voiceover. I've also done two voiceovers today because I've been pre-recording for absolutely nothing. But it's just nice and warm outside in the UK. So I've decided, you know, if I pre-record two videos, which I'm doing, I'm on my second one. Um, then maybe I can spend some more time outside with my family, with my doggos. Oh, also mentioning my dogs, if you um, hear like crashing in the background, it's because there is a fly outside 
the office and my dog's chasing it around and trying to eat it. So that's what that noise is. Um, I also added a little like dresser underneath the stairs because it fits so perfectly and I just thought that it would be a good way to like, you know, use up space. Also because of the stairs and there's that massive weird random gap above it, I couldn't really figure out where to put light and also because of the skylight I couldn't figure out where to put light. So it was kind of annoying so there's not any lights on the right side of the build, they're all like crammed in on the left side of the build and I tried to use sconces but that didn't really work so it's kind of dark and I apologise for that but um, you're just going to have to deal with it. Also I realised in my videos I, I apologise for like everything, it's like I'm an inconvenience to your life, like you watch me because you need to and it's like torture um but anyway <laughs> moving on slightly quickly um I really cluttered up this build so much and you can see that and I tried cluttering up to the corner counter because I always add in corner counters to my build and I always clutter them up so so much even though I would have had so much more space if I didn't add a corner counter but corner counters are full clutter okay this is literally the only thing you can put on them um, so I literally added all the clutter and then I reorganised it and I was like, that actually just looks ugly. So I ended up changing it, um, and added shelves and I just feel like it's really cute and adorable and I really wanted this place to have like a, um, more like an earthy, outside, outdoors vibe. I was also watching Lil Simsy's Animal Crossing stream so I felt very pastel so I did go for like a really pastel coloured wallpaper just throughout the whole build so um, hopefully you like pastel because I used a lot of it. Um, also I like I don't know where I was going with this build when I was building it but um, I was graced with the happiness of a Capri Sun. If you do not know what a Capri Sun is, um, I, I, I apologise. This is not sponsored, by the way, but a Capri Sun. <gasps> Actually, the best thing that exists on Earth, and Capri Suns are, are, like, heaven to me. And I had a Capri Sun whilst I was building this, so from now on, I'm going to try have a Capri Sun every single time I build a build. Build a build, because apparently they make me build better. Because this build is better than any of my other builds. And also, another build that I had in my Capri Sun with, was my University Part 1 build. I'll put a little icon so you can go look at it. And that build turned out quite good than I, better than I expected. So, honestly, I feel like Capri Sun's just the way to go. So, if you're starting a channel, Capri Sun's the way to go. Always the best way to go. Um, but yeah, I did some little, like, suntan lotion just because I'm boiling and I'm going to burn. Um, so I was like, well, my sim's not going to burn, I'll just put some suntan lotion out for them. Um, so I just added loads of details that you don't really need in the game. But I added them, so they're there. <laughs> I love, I, I, I'm i actually shook as with the way that this turned out, it was actually really adorable. I love the little corner, like it's just so, like, can you see how close the little left corner is? It's adorable. On this little, like, island bit with the store. I added in a TV, so that's what my um, living room was when I said I had a living room. Uh, turns out I just have a stool and a TV. Um, but you can eat um, if you have a laptop. We Actually, we have a desk upstairs, so it's fine. You can eat there and you can watch TV there, so that's all good. Um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I keep saying that, but like honestly, very happy and very proud of myself. Um, in the screenshots... I was like kind of shocked because you could see all of the exterior and the exterior is the best bit of the build like honestly very happy also would you guys like me to maybe try and figure out how to do let's plays on my xbox because I feel like I really like doing let's play but like also it kind of be difficult for me because I rather do voiceovers than like in-game talking because when I talk in like real life you know I'm kind of uh loud but then also like lose my speech and I still do that in voiceovers but just less so yeah this is the upstairs it literally has barely anything and it's so small and so crammed like the bed is next to the stairs like you don't even need to walk you walk up the stairs and you can just jump into your bed like that's how close it is so um that's kind of like I feel like that would be fun if this was your own house but I added little fairy lights on the inside of every window 
and they turned out so cute they look so little and adorable and when you see the screenshots from the outside you can just see the little fairy lights on the inside and they're so cute also i didn't add like blinds or curtains because i thought that they would like whoever lived here would be like oh i wake up when the sun rises and i go to sleep when the sun goes down i feel like they'd be that kind of person or as you can see me absolutely spamming every single plant on this hill the left side of the hill is fully covered all the way up to the top and the right side is like three quarters covered is that because i was lazy no not this time just because i thought that it would look better um yes that 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 yeah that's true um also i found like you know when you refine an item where you loved it and then you forgot about it and then you found it again these cats and dogs plants i never thought i thought they were kind of ugly because they came in weird color swatches but they're adorable and i love them if you don't know what ones i'm talking about they're the spiky ones that are kind of like a bright green but then have a weird outline on the outside of them they're not really weird but they're just you know kind of suspiciously weird anyway i was saving because i'm a good good child and i was going into managed worlds to go get myself a screenshot because do you know why i didn't edit this out because i'm stupid and dumb and forgot <laughs> but this is the front of the building it actually looks really really adorable and i love it and this is the side like the side looks so much more better than the front but we're just gonna get over that um i love this like it's actually adorable when you come in it's kind of crammed and but as soon as you turn it gets like cuter and i just love it so much um i'm sorry that all of this wasn't screenshots it was just so cluttered that i couldn't really do all of it in screenshots with some of it's in the live camera mode so sorry about that um this is the upstairs i had in the feature wall because i just thought it'd be cute and a little plant poster and then you come on into the bathroom my camera was so so glitchy does anyone else have that because i do um, but yeah, I went really happy with how this turned out, and hopefully you guys are too. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!